How to make a web design proposal easy tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can create a simple web design proposal. So let's get into it. Now, what is a web design proposal and how do you create one? Well, for any web developer, they know that a web design proposal basically is how your web design services are going to provide a opportunity, how they're going to provide an opportunity to sell the other person's item or promote the other person's item. So a proposal is a detailed summary of what the web design project will entail and it is basically introduction of your entire business and how you can expand the other person's website or their platform and what you can do for the client and how you will help them in their business. Now a proposal also has information like how you will solve their problem and usually the price of a project is listed in a proposal and the time frame of how soon you can complete the project. So these are just the basic things that are included in any web design proposal. Now, how do you make one effective and how do you make sure that your client is, you know, getting all the information that they need? Well, I have some tips for that and this is actually from my Evernote that I will link in the description. So you can just use the links in the description as well for some of the templates that I'm going to be showing you guys later on. Now, first off, you need to identify the problem that needs solving. You don't want to send a proposal to someone that did not ask for it and there being nothing significant of change or of improvement. If you're sending a proposal, make sure to view their business. Let's say, for example, I viewed a e-commerce website and they have amazing products, but their website is lacking in SEO. Their website JavaScript is, you know, all messed up and, you know, their website could you really use a redesign. So you're just going to be solving, you're going to identify the problem. So you can be like, hey, this, this, this business, I have recently seen your website and I have seen the amazing products that you are selling. So you want to start off with something nice. You want to talk about a positive of their business and then be like, and I would really love to improve your website so you can expand your business further and then show them how you can solve the problem. So you can be like, we've noticed that your website has lag issues, it has code issues, and you also have not, you know, designed your website does not have one singular theme. So we can actually help you in fixing that and you can show a example of your service. If you have a website running, then you can show that website as well. Then after that, you're going to plan the web design process and show them a detailed timeline that they can understand about the design or the development. So this will entail a lot of different things. Now this has a lot of detail. You just don't want to go over it. You will first provide them with a questionnaire. That is the first thing that I recommend. So you're going to go to this questionnaire template over here. And these are some of the basic questions that you're going to ask them. So you can talk about things like what kind of website do you want your website to look like and how long or how many pages would you want to be designed, how you can improve certain aspects. You're going to include that. And then you're going to show them a detailed question. So you're going to be like, hey, we're going to revamp your about page where we're going to redesign this. We're going to add custom logos. We're going to add custom shop buttons. We're going to change the style of the listing. The content boxes will be placed on the right. So all that information needs to be put in a detailed version, and then you're going to show that to them. Then you're also going to show any relevant information about your company, so your portfolio, staff, awards, any of that basic information that you might want to display to your client. And then you want to make sure that the proposal includes price and signature. Now, the reason for that is because if you provide a detail, like once you have settled down with the questionnaire, they've answered the questionnaire and you've sent the final version of your proposal and you are going to be, you know, you're going into the deal, you're about to say yes to the deal, then you want to make sure that you're getting a e-signature. This is super essential. So if there are any changes later on, then you're going to be able to refer to the initial contract that they signed or the proposal that they signed so they are able to know that, okay, this is the price that they agreed upon and they will have to pay that price. Now, after that, you have some basic structural information such as, first off, whenever you're going to begin your proposal, you need to introduce yourself first, identify problems, 
then approach how you will fix the problem, the timeline of the actual solution, how step by step you're going to resolve this and how each stage will take process. Then you can show a example and portfolio works and then you're just going to have your e-signature box and the payment information. Now, after that, you need to make sure that you're realistic in the timelines that you have provided and it should be, you know, done in a tasteful manner. Now, I have a template over here. So a template should look something like this. This is the first step in which you're going to be like, hey, we actually know you. You're going to talk about your client, the thing that they're selling, the business that they could use improvement on. You want to make sure that the client knows that you have researched their actual business. Then you're going to enter your proposed solution for the problems that you have identified. Then you can see in the third page, you will add the resources or, you know, the timeline of the solution. Then you can see this is the scheduled timeline. So above here, these were just the resources. And this is just like a detailed version of what you're going to do to their website or to their web design. Then you have a schedule. So each deliverable item, such as the homepage customization or the logo delivery or the new color scheme themes, all of that, you can enter the deliverable item and then the number of days and any notes. Then below that, you're going to add a quotation price. So the estimated price that all of this will entail. And then the specific, you know, price of each deliverable item and then your payment terms and then your contact us basic portfolio and any potential clients that you already might have had. So you can see this is just a simple estimation, a simple sample template that you can get started with. It is super basic and you can use this for any kind of proposal especially with web design proposals this is going to be all the information that you need to you know refer with then you need to make sure to add a e-signature box you can use proposify you can use pandadoc you can use adobe e-signature you can use proposable all of these platforms allow you simple and easy e-signatures so there are no issues about payment and make sure you have your payment terms the method of payments whether or not you know they're going to be if they're an international client then how are you going to get paid make sure you have all of that information preset in your proposal so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video